Hey friends, it's Brecky, The Working Writer Mom, and today I want to talk about what comes next. I talked recently about having crippling self-doubt about all the rejections and being in the query trenches and kind of what comes next. We are entering the fourth quarter of 2020, which has been the year from Hades, and I want to talk a little bit about what my plans are for these last three months of the year and what I'm hoping I can squeeze out of this year that has otherwise been a cesspool. Now, I, now for those of you who are following me over on Twitter and on on Instagram, which I will leave all my information of all my socials down in the description so that you can come and find me if you want to keep up this conversation. But I have announced that I applied for Pitch Wars and we won't find out for like a month. They are not making Pitch Wars announcements until November 7th, which I think is cruel because it means that we're already a week into NaNoWriMo before we know whether or not we're going to be revising a past product or if we should put our in energy and emphasis on a brand new project. So I have a lot of feelings about that particular part of the timeline. I wish they had moved things up one week so that we could find out at the end of October if we got into Pitch Wars and that way we could switch our NaNoWriMo gears. But anyway, so right now for the month of October, I'm kind of in this limbo because I am waiting on my Pitch Wars application, but as of the filming of this video, I haven't received any requests for my manuscript, so it's not looking like I'm going to get in. They've had so many applications that only 2.7% of applicants are going to be accepted, which is insanity it's insanity. So with that in mind, although I hope and hope and hope that I'm going to get into Pitch Wars and then I'm going to have the opportunity to do a deep dive of revisions with professional writers who have been through a agented querying process, I am planning on doing something for NaNoWriMo. Now I am starting a business and I think I'm going to try to launch my first sort of mini product by the end of October. You guys know that I am trying to get people prepared for emergencies. I really am into emergency preparedness and I really think that this winter is going to be a very challenging one and I want to help and I want to have those resources available. So I think I'm going to be launching a workshop, like a live online workshop about food storage and how you can get a month of food storage done in a weekend. And it doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. So if that's something you're interested in, please tell me down below. Just like give me your thoughts on that or send me, you know, a DM over at Instagram or in Twitter because I want to serve y'all as much as I want to serve, you know, new people as well. But anyways, I want to work on that. So I do know that that is going to be taking a lot of my mental energy. Just getting my website up has been a nightmare. I'm using Bluehost and it has been awful because because my virus service keeps getting tripped up by it. Like my virus won't even let me onto the website. So there's something wrong with the web with with Bluehost's website. So I can't even get my website to work 100% of the time. So Another thing you guys could do for me, which would be so awesome, is go to sustainableprepping.com and just tell me if you can get to the website. I don't even care if you read it. I mean, I want you to read it, but like if you can just get to the website or if you get an error screen, because I've had a couple of people on a Facebook group I'm in try to get to the website to give me feedback on it and they get an error screen. And so I'm trying to figure that out. So that's one, one of my goals. <laughs> one of my goals for the fourth quarter is working on the sustainable prepping website and writing blogs. So I am writing, writing blogs to go with all the videos that I'm producing over on the Sustainable Prepping YouTube channel and providing as much free, useful content to non-crazy conservative people who want to have sustainable preparedness options because I think we all need that. Like I really believe in this and the power of the confidence that you get from knowing that you have food stores and sanitation stores and first aid stores and you don't have to run out to the grocery store and you don't have to compete with others who are frantic. You can stay at home and be safe and calm and not be in that that frantic space. That matters a lot to me. So anyways, off that little high horse. So that is one of my goals. So I am gonna be working on that during Preptober and, and I'm going to be working on hopefully getting a workshop done the last week of, weekend of October because I want to have a workshop before the election. Y'all, I think the election's going to be bad. Who, regardless of who wins, I know who I want, Biden, but I think things are going to go not great. And so because I think things are going to go not great, I want people to have had time before the election to get this work done and to have accomplished this um, preparing work and to not be kind of blindsided by the work. But now we're in October and I don't have any advertising. I don't have any 
any you know announcements made I don't even have a working website like I just feel behind and so part of my goals for the fourth quarter is to get that so I just don't feel like I'm behind the eight ball if you know what I mean in the writing front because I know you're all here for writing I am still marinating my middle grade Norse mythology and Norse creature story and so I would love for Preptober and then a NaNoWriMo to at least get a really quick and dirty draft. It might just be the 15 save the cat beat, beat like plot points beat it out with like scenes and then a couple linking scenes that then later I can go back when I have a little bit more brain space and like fill in all the links. That's how I found that's a system that I found really works for me and it works for my like one hour power hour like system. When I wrote The New Normal I wrote it almost exclusively on lunch hours because I was very pregnant and I was working full time and then the babies were born and I had about one hour a day of like mental clarity plus like non-baby time. So I got really good about using a one hour system really well and so I kind of want to go back to that and see how much I can actually accomplish in October and November and even December on getting I think 35,000 words, maybe 40,000 words. Because it's a middle grade, getting to 50,000 isn't as important to me, but 35,000 words. And if I can get even half of that or two thirds of that or all of it would be ideal. But if I can get, you know, 20,000 words of a 35,000 or 40,000 word story um, through a robust sort of all the scenes written and then some linking scenes and then all I got to do is fill in and fill in and fill in that would be that would be great so I think that at the very least having all 15 beats written all those scenes written so I can kind of make sure that all of my character arc stuff matches up with the corresponding plot arc I think that's the goal for both October, November, and December because frankly y'all I'm working full time, I have full time, you know, four children full time, I'm trying to start this business and I'm trying to be current and making at least one one YouTube video a week. So yeah, there there's that too, but I'll get to YouTube in a second. So for, for me, I guess I feel, so for me, I guess I feel really weird about like Preptober because I don't feel like I can fully commit myself to prepping because I don't know if I'm going to be writing a new project for NaNoWriMo or if I'm going to be in revisions. I can't, I don't feel like I can really commit to NaNoWriMo until I know about Pitch Wars because I could do a week of NaNoWriMo and then be like, psych, see you later, going to do my Pitch Wars revisions. And so I feel very, I don't know, ambivalent in the most true sense of that word which is neither hot nor cold like I feel that neither option is great like I feel that I can't really commit to anything because everything could change and that could be true for anything but I definitely feel like I can't commit to anything because I have pitch wars hanging over me and I so want it like it's it's definitely something I really want but I can't plan like I got in because I might not, but I could plan like I don't get in and get all this work done and then have to push it off for something else and totally switch gears and momentum, which wouldn't be bad. It would just be a little bit of a brain shift. So, okay, so aside, okay, aside from business, so, and, so in the business world, I want to get my website going and I'm hoping that by the end of the fourth quarter, I have done a workshop. In the writing world, I want to work on my middle grade or in the in the writing world, I want to work on my middle grade or be in pitch wars, which some of that is not actually up to me. So we will see how that goes. On the reading front, y'all, I have just not been in a fiction reading zone like I don't think I've read a work of fiction in almost two months I'm not interested I have put down the blood print halfway through even though I was loving it and I have not been able to pick it up since the summer there's just something about the emotional connection and the anxiety that you get when you read a really good book that I don't have the brain space or the bandwidth for I just can't commit to it and that's so weird but I saw someone on Twitter last week talking about how they're not reading fiction because it's too traumatizing. You can't read about anything traumatic because the whole world is traumatic. And that made so much sense to me. I didn't read through the majority of graduate school because I was so exhausted all the time from the work that I was doing. It was good work, it was important work, but it was psychologically heavy work. So I didn't read fiction. Like maybe once, one book every summer I read, but I, I 
didn't read fiction. And it, that makes so much sense to me now that I can't really read fiction. I'm not interested in reading fiction, even cozy fiction, because it's way too much emotional work. So my hope for this quarter is to get through three fiction books. That's right, just three. I think if I get through five, I'll make it to my third. I think I've read 25 books this year and I'm trying to read 30. So if I read five, I get to my limit, my my goal. But right now, three fiction books, however many nonfiction books I want. Right now I'm eating up a lot of podcasts, but three fiction books. And one of them is going to be The Truth Project from Dante Medina. She's a friend of mine. And I've read, like I was CP'd an earlier draft of this. And so I'm very excited. It's a novel in verse. So I will be raving about that pretty soon but that's one of them and then i i honestly i don't know i promised my sons i'd read the first of the five kingdom books by brandon mole we'll see if i can emotionally invest <laughs> in that right now um but yeah i i haven't been reading fiction so my third quarter goals read some fiction uh finish some nonfiction. i have several nonfictions that i've started finish up some nonfiction. read five books in total I think that's it. Yeah, I just, reading have been, I've been in a slump. I've been in a massive reading slump. Massive reading slump. I'll be honest. Okay, and my final goals, all right, and my final goals for the quarter really have to do with YouTube. So my final goals for the quarter are really about YouTube. I am committing to doing one video a week. And if I can do more than that, I will. And if I can't, I'm sticking out one video a week because I'm trying to launch a business, because I'm trying to be present on social media, because I'm trying to do my job from home, because I have four kids, I feel like I'm being squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. And it would be really easy since I have such a small channel to walk away from this. Again, I did it before, but I don't want to because I enjoy it. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy talking to you in the comments. I enjoy watching videos when I have time. I enjoy this. I love it and I love you guys and I want to be here. And so even though, you know, my, my little channel keeps getting smaller, <laughs> um, I'm here because I care about you guys and because I love these conversations and because I think it's important that there are voices of professional women who are also parents in this space. There aren't any parents in author tube that I could find, like zero people that I have found that have children, particularly little kids. So I feel like we need to hear the conversation about how hard it is when you're trying to balance very small people who have immediate demands and cannot wait with your need to be creative. And so I feel very compelled to stay in this space. I also, like I said, this channel is changing. It hasn't changed a ton, but I will be doing some different more motherhood content simply because that's my day in and day out life. But I am committing to you that every week from now until the end of the year, I'm showing up at least once a week on YouTube, at least once a week. It might be by the skin of my teeth. It might be a very short and uh, rough and dirty video. That's okay. I will be coming every single week and I hope I'll be able to get into a pattern where I'm coming every twice a week starting in, this, in the next year. But for now, fourth quarter 2020, we're gonna finish strong one video a week, I will be here in your eye holes, in your ear holes, bringing you, I was going to say wisdom, but I don't know that I can say it, that I'm bringing you wisdom. I'm bringing you awkward passion. Yeah, awkward passion. That's how Brucky rolls. So friends, that's me. I am going to be sort of doing Preptober and maybe doing NaNoWriMo. I'm waiting on Pitch Wars. I'm working on my business. I'm trying to show up here in YouTube and maybe read maybe read some books. You know, this was a booktube channel after all. Comment down below and let me know, how is your fourth quarter? Like, what are your goals? Do you have any specific hard and fast goals you were trying to reach for the end of the year? How do you feel like the, your year has gone so far? I know mine has felt like an actual dumpster fire. Like, I feel hot from the dumpster fire that it has been. But I am hopeful that this last quarter is going to set me up strong for a 2021 that will kick absolute butt. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can be caught up to date with all the videos I bring you at least once a week. And I will see you guys all very soon.